Rise. Rise, Lazarus. Approach the microphone. Come forth. Hello. Hey, hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Awesome. I'm really happy to be here with all of you amazing people. Ah. Oh, yeah. um, so I am, uh, who are um, you? Oh, I'm so sorry. My name is Stephanie. Hi, uh, Stephanie. So you have a there. question about I do. Yeah, scary so things. This is a really good one. Yeah. So I've actually been... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I no. love that. I'm Stephanie. This is my new fucking mixtape. Prepare. <laughs> no, I mean, it's honestly something that's been happening for years. And honestly, my dad's been doing this, um, honestly, since I was little. And um, unfortunately, my uh, fiancé has actually gotten, like, he pulled in uh, to the You mix. have to tell us what it is, because okay, it so, sounds so bad if you so, lead into it that okay. way. <laughs> okay, so Every can... night on Halloween, we play a game no, where no. one of us hides and has to <laughs> escape murder. It's... Okay. So this is any time of the year, honestly. So um, my dad will actually buy these huge masks. Um, he's actually bought like stage masks. He's into like theatrical things. He's also into those little, like you know, cheap ones that uh, like you can buy from CVS, like the giant, like you know, crying baby faces. If you've ever seen those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my fiance, whom when Stephanie like, got yeah. to, my dad <laughs> likes to buy these huge. <laughs> stop. Yeah. Right there. Was your brain just like? I don't know. I don't know. Usually I'm pretty good at predictive thought, but I actually have no idea what the next word is going to be. It's oh, it's mad. It's something Steph's dad has gotten the fiancé into, yeah. and I'm terrified. Okay, okay Stephanie. So, so, yeah. Stephanie, lots um, of masks. So my fiancé of nine years, which is crazy, um, he gets scared. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Hey, no, no, hey no. Steph, been dating feed your for reverence. Like, you didn't have to say that. That long. <laughs> It's good. No, it's we weren't like gonna look into anyway. it. Hey, Stephanie, guys, I, you were right. This question kicks ass. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay, so my dad will just literally at any moment, like impossible, he will scare my fiance with these masks. He will right. be outside, like um, unloading the car, and my dad will come around the corner as a huge baby, uh -huh. and he screams. He freaks out. He's here, by the way. Um, Your dad? I actually wanted to mention that... No, 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 my fiancé, oh, sorry. Oh, thank God. Oh, hey. And I actually wanted to mention that he is also the, like, you know, Danny Klein, who has the Elton John songs that you sang a very mm -hmm. long time ago for yes. my... So he's... Uh, Hello. He's uh, right. a... Yes, I see you waving. Anyway, uh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, and he's also, uh, he recently got a, um, like, a Wicked Witch mask, and um, I just want to support him, because right. I don't, I really can't stop my dad or, like, you know, change who he is or right. his, you know, quirks, but how do I support my fiancé in this interesting situation? No. listen, um, my dad's got quirks. <laughs> my dad stood in front of you all dressed in nonsense clothes, and it yeah. was fun, it was great, that was fun. That's a quirk. What my dad doesn't do is scare Teresa all the time. <laughs> that, that is something I, I would argue, actionably, a way to support your fiance is to say, hey dad, cut that shit right the fuck yeah. out. I would like to say, I appreciate that you made a joke about how long, you've been engaged for nine years and then it's crazy, but then ask us about your dad scaring your fiance with masks because you know, exactly the level of problem that we are equipped to help with. <laughs> you know exactly where our pay grade is and what we We've should be brought on board years. to oh. sort of address. Yeah. It's like if you showed us like a pro baseball team and we're like, well, we couldn't face them and said, oh, no, no, no. You're selling hot dogs in the stand. Yeah. And we're like, oh, thank you. Perfect, okay, good. Oh. Is the scares your dad is generating more of a slow burn hereditary style, or are they more spooky, jump out the box scares? No, it's quite quick. He just okay. likes to come down the stairs, and he will be reading his phone, and just all, all of a sudden, he's right there, and he's like, ah! You know, he just yells. Can I just Nine say? years, you're not ready? Sorry. Oh. I just... <laughs> yeah, thank you. I agree, right? Like, I, you have to be acclimated I, to this kind of thing. I just wish someone would do that for me. It just sounds like a lot of fun, you know? I think your dad must really like your fiance. Can I say this? To put that kind of energy into another human being, no matter what the, like, the, the verb is, to scare, to comfort, whatever, no. to put that kind of energy into the fiance, I think is so nice. And I think it shows a genuine level 
of caring about the fiance. I don't think Stephanie would be here if the question was, yeah, my dad won't stop comforting my fiance. <laughs> My dad, you, my dad buys these comfort masks at CVS. <laughs> it just makes my fiance feel so nice and happy all the time. You don't think my dad won't stop comforting my fiance is a my brother, my brother, and me level question. Okay, because fair I feel point. like there's an amount of time the comforting could continue. Now, Stephanie, you, I think I heard you say this. Does your dad also scare you? Uh, yeah, but I'm honestly used to it. Like, That's you're right, it, right? Exactly. Stephanie, you're horrible. But this is not like a thing that your dad only does to your fiance. Um, uh, one of the few things. Oh Probably no, few I few thought people. I knew where I was going with this. <laughs> um, okay. Stick with me. You're gonna have to break things off. But then, listen, no, listen, there's a turn. Listen, there's a turn, I promise there's a prestige. Hang with him. A week later, you're like, I want you to meet my new significant other. Krav Maga expert, <laughs> whoever, and they're gonna do Krav Maga on your dad once. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, and a lot of us tend to idolize our parents and think of them as being very, very powerful and strong. Or Krav Maga proof. But if someone does Krav Maga, Krav Maga, <laughs> if Krav someone does Maga. Krav Maga to your dad once, is there any danger of long-term dad breakage? <laughs> anyway, Probably, it's a yeah. risk we're gonna have to take. You're obviously gonna have to dump this Krav Maga loser and get back with the hero up there. And then I think your dad will then maybe be so confused from the brain damage he's received from you. <laughs> maybe that ha Maybe he gets Krav Maga, and then your uh, then Danny, uh, the first fiance, comes in, beats up Krav Maga, dude. Yes. And then everyone's and then the dad's like. Now I'm scared of you. <laughs> right. And then maybe, and Danny, plug your ears for this one. I'll wait. Okay. And maybe you don't tell Danny about this plan so it fixes both problems because it lights a fire under. <laughs> does, that, does that help? Be honest. Yes, thank you very and much. Help. You're welcome. 